shit you saying, sir. We can't hear nothing you saying, my boy. I'm telling you. So... I am here. It is. I mean, I didn't think it was invalid. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Nothing really. Just Why can't you eat? Where you at? I'm in the car. In the car? Where? Where you coming from? Uh, I'm about to go to the studio right now. About to go to the studio. Where you coming from, though? That was the question. The house. Coming from the house here to the studio. Well, not the house house. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Not the house house house. The Fort Lauderdale house. That's yeah. Real, that's a real rich kid shit. Yeah, that's some real. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That was, Man. Some, that was some millionaire kids. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not the house house. For a lot of their house. But you're funny. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, seriously. What no. you, where you at? Where you at? I'm in the studio. Oh, you're in the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you got the hat on? Yeah. Drop top? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't I? How could I not? Okay. You know what I mean? How can I not? But look, though, I think that, you know, something that is incredibly important is the fact that you just made it to be a year more matured, like, two days ago. Yeah. And look, bro, adulthood is kind of Adulthood is coming. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you certain that you're ready? I am. I'm I'm preparing to be ready. You're preparing to be ready because I can tell you happy birthday, man. Get you a cake and you can blow out candles and shit. And then 
you don't really understand the ramifications of what it means to get over it. But I don't think there's any value in that. I want to make sure that you, sir, are ready and in three more years to fend for yourself, get up, get out, and get something and create a legacy that lives long after mine. Are you, are you, are you preparing yourself for that? Huh? Son. King. Sir King. See Andre Harry. What's going on, man? What's with your Wi-Fi, bro? Man, I thought I could. I thought I could until I couldn't. Thought I could. We can until we can't. We can until we can't. So can you now? We can until we can't. Man, this <laughs> I feel like you're responding to my answer. I just feel like it's your responsibility to make sure that I can hear you, man. You know what I'm saying? We have. I'm making sure that you can hear me. You dig it? You gotta let me know that you can. Come on now, come on now. You gotta let me know that you can hear me. Man, listen, I hear you right now. Okay, I said yes. That is what I'm preparing for. Okay, okay. Now, what are you doing to make sure that you're prepared? What are you doing? Because you know. You know what success is? Yes. What is success? Well, opportunity meets preparation. You dig what I'm saying? Yes. So you're going to have the opportunity, man, to present yourself as a grown-ass man soon. You're going to have that opportunity. Will you be prepared? Yes. You will be prepared. I will. Well, you should expect a certain level of success. Yep. I'm looking forward to it, bro. You know, I'm going to say this, and I told you before, this is to keep me from posting the post with a long-ass caption. You know, I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we beyond that. We didn't got past that. You know what I'm saying? We post posts with big, <laughs> long-ass captions. And, you know, people read them or don't read them, and, and, you know, they get the likes they get, and life goes on. But I want to tell you, in front of all of your fans and all of mine. I want to tell you how proud I am of you. Uh, not because you're just getting older. You know what I'm saying? Because any motherfucker inhaling and exhaling and staying alive can get older. But it's the fact that... Are you, do you have a fucking... You, listen, man. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There's no need for me to say the stuff I'm saying if you can't even hear me. King. Oh, my goodness. Somebody in the comments say, that's why we write the long caption. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Um, I guess I'll just wait to say everything I was going to say, man, when he calls back. Hold up, let me see if he's calling back. All right, cool, man, let's see. Let's see what we got, man. Man, I'm telling you. First bill you should pay is your Wi-Fi oh. bill, my boy. I'm saying it. Don't be sorry, young man. Be careful. Yes. I hear you. What you said? So as you were saying, I said I hear you. Man, you said you hear me, but you don't really hear me, though. Look, right? So I wanted to tell you that I'm proud of you, but not just for getting older, because anyone inhaling and exhaling, staying alive, and figuring out how not to die. Anybody else? It, uh oh. I'm sorry, lady. My apologies. Anyone can do it. <laughs> um, but to actually grow and evolve as a human being, to learn, mature, you know, 
like that shit there that requires celebration because you won't you won't believe how many uh childish ass 50 year old deals out here motherfuckers who ain't got no morals no standards no principles and no practice no practice to, to account for themselves. And they still out here, man, passing off as adults, passing off as grown men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so the most important thing, man, is just to man, handle yourself like a man at all times. And people will have no choice but to treat you like that. I can't see you, bro. Like, what's up? Bad. What's up, bro? I'm in the car. I don't care where you at. It's a light in the car, ain't it? Man, this is a difficult call. I should have just wrote a caption. I'm t- That's crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Okay. Better? Just got to make sure I see who I'm talking to. Okay. Yeah, that's you. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah, just got to make sure, man. So, I also, I must applaud you at taking the necessary steps at, uh, at growth and um, making the necessary adjustments to become a better young man, answering the call and the challenges you know, doing the uncomfortable, the uncomfortable work. Like, that's, that's the tough shit. You know, people don't ever see. You know, everybody sees the fun part where, you know what I'm saying, you posting pictures from private jets and, you know what I mean, you, you out driving golf carts and you in and out of quarter million dollar cars. Everybody see that. But, Making the necessary adjustments in order to grow and evolve as a young man. Those are the things I'm impressed with. Those are the things I'm impressed with. Because as a rich kid, you have a lot of things that you can do or acquire. And you can assume the responsibility or assume the luxury of. But instead of doing that, actually operate with more standards and principles. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? That's the stuff that make people really, really like that's that's the stuff that make people really appreciate you as a young man. You know make people really see what you what you made of on the inside. Because I've told you this many, many times, but the things I put you through, the things I force you to go through and don't allow you to evade or avoid, those those are adversities. Adversity builds character. And character take you places that money cannot and, um, yeah. anybody yeah. can just goddamn spend a lot of money pay for some shit to get fixed anybody can do that what you want to pride yourself in being though is a master of solutions finding ways to solve problems that you can think of for free when the next person has to pay a bunch of money to figure out how to solve Having your relationships, your experiences, and your 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 information that you gather, your research, how that shit work for you. When other people gotta spend money to solve these same problems, that's what the things I put you through, it's gonna get you that kind of shit, that priceless shit that other rich kids ain't gonna be able to buy. You know? So just wanna pride you there, uh pat you on the back, tell you proud of you. And let you know that the shit is for a purpose. One day, man, you'll look up and you'll have a lot of a lot of tools in your tool belt. 
that other people your age uh, that are in the same circumstances or similar circumstances, they won't have those tools in their tool belt because they didn't, they weren't put through the same things that I put, I put you through. So I just want to let you know that. Yeah. It's not all for nothing. And I appreciate you for it. Right on, man. It's easy to say that now. Just remember that next time I tell you no. Okay. <laughs> but where you just, where are you in Fort Lauderdale? Why are you in Fort Lauderdale? Where are you coming from? Where am I coming from? Yeah, where are you coming from? Where you been? The cruise. Coming from a cruise. Man, it made yeah. Where you cruise to? Huh? Where'd you cruise to? Where was your cruise? You said to? when the cruise Where what? Where'd the cruise? Man, I Someone can't even get cruise to. <laughs> I said, where did you, where was your cruise so what? to? The Bahamas. Where was your cruise to? Where did you, to the Bahamas? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, on your 15th birthday, you went on an international, an international aquatic cruise. Yes. Hey. Now, you know what great reward comes Stop. with responsibility, right? Yes. You know that. You know that, right? How you smiling like that? You know that, right? Because, man, because for you to live exponentially better and more luxurious than other people around you, your age and your bracket, your peers, you know that you must do exponentially more. Yeah. There's no way... There's no way for you to enjoy an increasingly amount more luxuries, excuse me, luxuries, an increasingly amount more luxuries without having an increasingly amount of more responsibilities, more expectations. You understand that, right? Yes, I do understand. All right, cool. You know, cause some people just watching there, they could think, all I have to do is just have my dad to be T.I. And it's just like this. Is it easy for you? No. Let's hear about your woes. What? Let's hear about your woes. Like, as a rich kid, like, what are some of the things that, you know, you feel like you should be able to do that you feel can't do, even though people think you probably can do whatever you want? Like, what are the things that you still just can't do? Go to the mall by myself. Um, Six Flags. Um, shoot. Um, I can't go to like no big events by myself. Can't go bowling by myself. None of that. Okay, so basically, well, independence yeah. and privacy. That what you talking about? Yeah. Okay, now how about this? You make money. Yeah. You know, you have your own bank account, your own bankroll. What if you just wanted to go out today and spend all your money on something that you wanted to buy? I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Why not? Why? Because of you. <laughs> I love no, being the you... villain in this. Because of you, you I can't man. do it. <laughs> But why not though? Why won't I let you do it? Because it's not smart. It's not a smart investment. It's not a wise investment. Right. Right. And what we learned is. We it's learned not about what. There I'm showing you profits. about what's in you. There are profits. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Keep talking. What'd you say, <laughs> sir? I said that it's not about what's on you, it's about what's in you. There you go. Not about what's on you. It's about what's in you. That's the absolute truth, man. Like, 
you can spend a million dollars on a bunch of shit to put on you, but if it ain't shit in you, that shit on the way up out of here. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, man? I uh, I really just wanted to share this moment with you, brother, and wish you a very happy birthday. Tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you. You know, inspire you, motivate you to continue to fight the good fight. Cause you got you got six more hard years left. You got six hard years left to go. You know what I mean? And I just yeah. want you to be motivated and inspired to finish strong. To find the strength inside you to fight. Keep fighting. I got it. I got it. Keep fighting, bro. Cause one day, man, you're gonna look back and you know, you gonna tell us all to kiss your ass. You did what? what I'm saying? You gonna tell us all to kiss your ass? You know, you gonna say, man, I got my own money now. Can't nobody tell me what to do. I've already, you know, made X, X, Y, Z amount of money doing A, B, C of an endeavor, and I don't need nobody to control my money no more. And now I know what to do. So y'all can kiss my. Oh, he's gone. Dang. I guess, you know, this is a perfect example of when you continue to engage in a discussion on your own after everyone has left the room. That's fine. At least you guys are so You guys picked up on what I was trying to say. But I think it's very important, man, you know what I'm saying, to... I think it's important to, you know what I'm saying, to really articulate to the next generation, or at least to our kids, articulate to them the points we're trying to make and how it could affect them, show them how it associates to, you know, their 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 lifestyle later on, man. When, when I ask my kids what they want to be when they grow up, I always say, okay, let's figure out what kind of life you want to live, first of all. Cause one of my kids said somebody wanted to, I think Major, he said he wanted to work at a toy store. I said, okay, well, look, let's, let's, let's sit down and write down how much money it takes for you to live the lifestyle you want to live. So we wrote down what kind of house, what kind of car, you know what I mean, how many games he wanted to have, what kind of clothes. And the good thing about Major is he don't give a fuck about nothing material. So this particular exercise didn't necessarily work how I expected it to work for him. He could actually make it being a fucking toy salesman, working at a toy store. But for the others, if what you want to do don't pay the amount of money that it takes for you to assume the, the type of lifestyle that you want for yourself, you need to pick a new profession. So there is parents. Happy birthday.